What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is Winnie 101 here, and today I'm going to be doing a jailbreak video. I believe this is my first jailbreak video um, ever on this channel, so yeah, we'll get straight into it. I am jailbreaking my iPhone 4 uh, on iOS 7.1.2 using the Pangu jailbreak. I will leave the link to this up here, eu.7.pangu.io, I'll leave that down in the description below. Um, so what you have to do once you get to this site is... Whatever, if you're on Mac or Windows, it's, it's the same for both. So if I was on Mac, which I am not because I'm on Windows, I would click Windows. So I click that, it takes me to the download page and it starts downloading. But I'm going to cancel that because I already have it. Um, actually, oh, it started again. <coughs> Alright, um, so I'm just gonna go here. So I'll just start up Pangu. There. Sorry, I just had it wasn't open preemptively. All right, so here we go. Um, Pangu jailbreak for iOS 7.1 to 7.1.x, whatever it goes up to. So at the moment, it's two. iPhone 31 with i with iOS 7.1.2. Click jailbreak button to start. So with this phone, I have literally just put into a brand new brand new um just restore fresh install um so it's got no apps on it so it's just good so we'll pop that just down there and we'll click jailbreak all right so adjust the system date so we we'll tap settings go all the way, go down to general uh date and time turn off the switch automatically and we'll set the day to the 21st of June. Back, 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 back. Oh, hang on. March, April, May, June. June 2nd. Alright. So, it's just 10, 16 a.m. June 2nd, 2012. That's not right. Need to go. Oh shit! Hang on. <laughs> July second. All right. So there we go. It's injecting the bungles. You can see now that we have. If we just get this to focus in. Oh, it doesn't want to focus, but you can see there it's got Pangu app. Please tap, and it says on the screen here. Please tap Pangu icon on your device to continue. So you sure you want to open Pangu from yes. All right, we'll open that. So keep the device connected and do not close the app. All right. So as you see here, we're on the, we're almost halfway through. This works a lot quicker with a new restore. But what I highly do, what I highly recommend you do before jailbreaking is you go into iTunes and you continue. Oh. Alright, so, but you just hit back up, they'll be on the settings somewhere. Um, so, yeah, that'll, and then you back up your phone, make sure you back up all your settings, and then if you want, you can do, you can just straight jailbreak and um, get Cydia, or you can um, just, um, just do it with your normal settings and your device, it'll take. A lot longer because I know I did that before and it took at least 10 minutes um, so yeah so uh, again about this Pangu jailbreak it is also available for iOS 8 is pretty much the exact same process that I would do with the 4 I would do I would jailbreak my 6 if I had one or 6 plus if I had one um, it is they're both really good phones and iOS 8 is a good operating system, but Studio and the jailbreak makes it a lot better. So I will be doing another video, another couple of videos actually on um, well not maybe just another video of what I have on my when it will be a jailbroken device. Um, um, I will also be doing videos on my new gaming products. So if you guys don't know already, um, I have gotten. Uh, 
the entire Razer Chroma range. Uh, for Christmas, well, I got the keyboard for Christmas, and I bought the other two, the mouse and the headset myself. So that's the um, Kraken 7.1 Serian Sound headset. Also works on the PlayStation 4, the um, Black Widow Chroma. Um, RGB back color lighting, all customizable through the Razer Synapse software. Um, as you can see, I've got my Dota 2 layout under here at the moment. I just could not be stopped changing it to my regular layout. But they have made some really cool changes to that app, and I will bring those to you shortly. Um, and last but not least, we have the uh, Death Adder Chroma. This is reworked from 2013, and it does include. Um, the color like color lighting. Other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same. You've got your two buttons, the side here. You've got your textured grips, and everything. Um, and all these can be customized in sync with each other. The lighting, um, 16.8 million RGB colors. All right. So, yeah, that's it. That's that. So now the Pengu Jovex is it's rebooting, and do not dis do not disconnect your device. So, great English spelling there, we'll just minimise iTunes there, oh, hang on, there we go. So as you can see, it's um, signing back up. Right, so, it doesn't take long at all when you really think about it, it's just a simple, at the moment, what are you, 6, 6, 97 minutes in, 6.45 right now, so, yeah, it's really, really simple. Um, and it doesn't take long really you could be doing other stuff in the background you can be checking your emails you can be playing games like um yeah <laughs> so make sure again something else just make sure your device is not password protected um so as you can see you started up here it's, um now it's just processing the files you can it tells, told that the device has been started up, it knows everything, so, uh, yeah, this is almost progress at the end, I think, um, so, I will be adding a laptop later today for school, uh, but, and I will be showing you guys that out as well, um, trying to and get all stuff configured with that. And maybe we'll try a gaming rig, gaming recording rig, like a dual cleanup thing. So, yeah, that should be interesting. So, again, guys, watch out for my reviews on each of these products. They are amazing, amazing products, just to tell you straight up, and exactly just perfect. They're amazing. Um, so, we're done. Complete. So, the device is rebooting. Um, yep. <laughs> so... I will probably be doing the Black Widow first because I have had the most hands-on experience with this um, keyboard. It is very tactile keys, they sound awesome. But I'm going to be going into that now. That'll be for another video. So, as well as the headset and this and the mouse. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, we'll just wait for the device to boot up and... Um, I will begin, I'll restore my device to my last restore that I did, which was before I did this video, so, yeah, so, I'll restore it, I'll install my tweaks, and then I will do another video on what tweaks I have, what sources I, ha I use, and just how it all works out, and reminder, these will all be free, these will already be these will be tweaks that you don't have to pay for they're free completely free so if we put up here as you can see here we have Cydia so yeah I'm really excited gonna be great um, so yeah um, thank you guys for watching this has been Winnie 101 uh, doing a Pengu iOS 7.1.2 on the iPhone 4 jailbreak Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down there. Um, and also, 
got new stuff down in the description as well with my reporting up for my gaming. I'm doing a completely new layout with Dota 2. It's going to be great. I'm going to have a webcam on there and everything. So, yeah, I hope you guys tune in for that and it's going to be amazing. So, yeah, there's some big things coming for this channel. Uh, be sure to subscribe down there to get some more footage and stuff. Watch my other videos. Um, be sure to give this a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see from my other vid from my videos in the future. So yeah, thank you guys very much and have a great day.